Okay, so today I am going to show you my new UI system. It's not based on widgets, but uh, maybe I will uh, implement it for widgets also. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so um, it contains for one of the display, we can just uh, drop in a background and it will display. And then you have stuff like the momentary button, toggle button, classic slider, toggle, you field string, and so on, and so on. And you can uh, change the appearance. So let's just select them and you can change the background color, you can change the border, and uh, also the size of the border, and how round the buttons are, you can change the uh, font, and so every button can get a, a label. So we have momentary, press enter, and we have the new. Yeah, so you can also uh, have an output. So here you get, uh, if you hover over it, and the state, so the state is just a value between one and zero and the value you can set here so if we set it to like 20 and now turn it on and off again it works same goes for the slider for example no problem so you see the state is always given yeah and you can uh, very easily so if we just drop this one and say op slider and we can set uh, say set the value and now we set the value to I don't know like 20 and there we have it same as when we say uh, print and we say get the value you see it's the 20.5 and the same as so we uh, you can take the state and you get the state um, so the way how to work with this is you can so we here we have a theoretical like it's just just a simple RGB and now we have the export and you can just drop in the parameter and then here you can uh, choose the parameter you're looking for and activate and now you see we can it just automatically starts the export works really nice <clears throat> um, or you can just set a dot so if we go to that set we say target text one and now it will set yeah the, the range uh, the value to the dot is going to be uh, coming in handy later so for now this doesn't work or doesn't is, is not really useful but it's going to be okay so let's reset all parameters Oops. He's angry. Hmm. Oh, whatever. I didn't mean to do it. So the next uh, nice thing is the drop container. So uh, if we just so we can define a height, height, and so if we just view it, it's pretty big. Let's say eight hundred. And now we can, for example, just drop a parameter in and it will automatically fade them. <clears throat> we can then just use clear and everything's back to normal. Uh, same goes for, for tops. You can just drop in a top and it will yeah, put on the label and you can see it we also so let's clear this again just load in 
the complete base and I will look for, for the outputs and for all the custom parameters. So this way, now we take a second one. Hopefully it doesn't crash because it could be that sometime if you drop something, yeah, but it works as you see. We have also like really fastly done an interface. So let's clear this and maybe set the height to 30. And now we have, uh, yeah, an interface. <clears throat> so, but you want to, for example, use MIDI. So you can just use the MIDI map and yeah, you drop in the drop container in the parameter comp and define uh, the device ID, channel and start index. So I think uh, I have here my interface and I think it starts at uh, 13. So, uh, so like this one, it uses control channels, and this one is control channel 13, 14, 15, and so on. And we just automatically map them accordingly. So this is this 13, 14, 15. So let's put this one in. And as you can see, it automatically maps the values. And here we have the RGB. <coughs> So if we want to use uh, presets, there's also the UI preset base. And again, you choose the device ID, you choose the channel. So my pets over here, because it's working on node on, uh, are on channel two, and it's still device one. And it's first, let's say, clear the presets and drop in the drop container. So now if we, There was a little mistake. <clears throat> okay, now if we um, press uh, the button, he will uh, look if there already is a preset. If not, it creates automatically a preset and this will be uh, is shown by the fact that it's on. So now let's uh, create a new preset and turn on the red. Just press the button so we have a new preset and turn on the blue. So now we can just cycle through the presets. And if we want to create a new one, jump back to the last one. And yeah, this way you can jam around. And yeah, basically that's it. So you can, if you want to go into the drop container, select all of these UI elements, and then you can change the appearance a little bit set the border size a little bit higher something like this and let's make the border nice orange and a little bit darker and the background to i don't know something like this so it's really uh, up to you how you create your can also set the border size to zero and <coughs> then it looks a little bit more like touch designery. Okay, actually that's it.